Welcome to this new educational series from Imperial College London. Science Matters, let's talk about COVID-19. I'm here with Professor Helen Ward and Dr. Katrina Howe, and my name is Oliver Geffen, and I will be the teaching fellow on this course. So Helen, there is already a huge amount of information in the public domain. What are we contributing to this? Well, what we're hoping to do with this course is to equip you with the tools to understand the scientific principles underpinning the different aspects of response to the pandemic. This includes the epidemiological modelling, which, for example, looks at how fast the infection is spreading and how it's transmitted. We will also cover the different aspects of the economics of pandemics, including their costs, their impacts and the roles of health systems. One area that I'm keen to talk to you about is community engagement, which is a key lesson from previous outbreaks such as Ebola and SARS, and about some of the work we're doing in the Patient Experience Research Centre on community engagement. Here at Imperial College, we have a centre that specialises in the modelling of emerging infectious diseases, and they have been actively engaged in advising governments worldwide to help them plan their response to the epidemic. Katrina, can you tell us a little bit about how modelling can help in this context? We are filming this introduction here from our home offices in London, just in the week that WHO has warned that the coronavirus pandemic is accelerating and our Prime Minister had to put the UK on a lockdown. Scientists at the Abdul Latif Jamil Institute for Disease and Emergency Analytics and other research institutes at Imperial College London and elsewhere are working day and night. We model scenarios that compare lives saved and that try to lessen the burden on our overstretched hospitals. People everywhere are scared. They think that we only have medieval interventions of social distancing to curb the spread of the pandemic. But that is not true. Because we know that the spread of the virus follows certain rules. The rules of mathematics and statistics. And we also know that the behavior of individuals is not static. People do adjust to the threat that is posed by the pandemic. Because we understand these two factors, the spread of the virus is not inevitable. We have epidemiology, behavioral science, health services research, economics, and then together with clinical research that helps us understand what the disease does to patients and that helps us understand the biological features of the virus and that helps us to combat this threat, we can use sophisticated and advanced methods of data analytics to combine all these different strands of research together. And this research advises policymakers around the world on the most effective and cost-effective public health interventions, and it will help us to get ahead of the curve. It is an absolute pleasure today for us to introduce you to these exciting tools and show you that in this worrying time, now more than ever, science matters. In the modules of this course, you will hear directly from the experts conducting the analysis, who will explain the scientific theory and methods that underpin the results that they share with you. You will also get situational reports, which are essentially overviews of the current state of the epidemic. You will get these from leading experts, including from Professor Neil Ferguson, director of JIDEA. We've created a number of forums for you to be able to debate and discuss the things that you've learned, but also to be able to engage with us more directly. Please be aware that this is a rapidly changing situation, and we will be updating course materials as new insight becomes available. We hope that you enjoy this course.